and thank you so much for joining me here on Product Perspective. So this is my very first live video ever, so bear with me if I mess up or I show the wrong thing on the screen, but today I wanted to talk about SpaceX and their Crew Dragon capsule, which is taking off in, what is it, about four hours? It's taking off at 4.33 Eastern Time down in Florida, which is NASA's headquarters down there. Um, and they are going to be flying off at that time, and they're d going to um, be flying off Bob and Doug. So they're going to be launching two men into space, and this is going to be the first time ever that Tesla is... Not Tesla, sorry, SpaceX. Tesla owns... Uh, Elon Musk owns Tesla and SpaceX. This will be the first time that SpaceX will be flying two men in space. First time ever that they're bringing men into space. So that's a big deal. I mean, that's a lot of risk. And so NASA and SpaceX are both combined to make this mission happen. So the two astronauts, Bob and Doug, are from NASA. They have trained through NASA. And today is a crazy day because... They've been working for this for almost 18 years now. So here is, uh, here, let me just show a picture of Bob and Doug. So this is Bob and Doug uh, in a test simulator right here. Um, and here's another picture of them. So, I mean, that's crazy that those two men are taking this risk. But what I wanted to talk about is the history. So back in 2002, which is actually the year I was born, that's pretty crazy, the year I was born is when SpaceX was started by Elon Musk. Um, let's go back just a little bit more. So Elon Musk started, well, he helped co-found PayPal. And that's kind of where he got his money from. Um, and then he took that money, he left PayPal, and he started SpaceX and um, Tesla. And so now Tesla kind of, you know, it's making a lot of money. A lot of people are buying those electric cars. And he took that money and he put it into SpaceX. So now he has a privately owned company that is making rockets and launching them. And he's trying to make something completely different than any other rocket or company out there. So when he started, he had this goal to get NASA to kind of kind of start doing more rockets because NASA really slowed down. You know, in the 60s or 60 years ago, when they first started the race, everybody was funding it. There were tons of people, but then it just kind of went down. And after they got to the moon, there wasn't much funding. And so it really, really slowed down the International Space Station. They still bring um, people there and supplies, but it just really slowed, slowed way down. And so Elon wanted to go to Mars. And so that was his goal. And he wanted NASA to start picking up and he wanted to help NASA and get to Mars and start a colony, which is just crazy. He has this crazy idea that he wants to start a colony on Mars, which I don't think is practical, but maybe we'll find something cool up there, aliens or something. Well, maybe not. Anyhow, so he he did that, but NASA didn't really pick up. You know, he went to buy his first old rocket from Russia, I believe, and it was a ton of money, and he was like, this is just, this is, I, I'm not going to spend this type of money. I want to build my own rockets, and I can save a lot more money. And so that was his kind of goal, is to save money on rockets. So his first major uh, achievement with SpaceX was creating rockets that can reland or modules that can reland. So they and they have they have accomplished this and they've done this several times. So essentially, when a rocket goes up, it splits into several parts, and those parts that have the old fuel tanks and rockets on them, uh, rocket parts, they pretty much just explode or they land somewhere, and you can't reuse them. That's a ton of wasted money. And the, uh, the the top module, which people are in, will go to space. They'll do whatever they need to do, and they'll come back. Um, but he got this idea that when it splits apart, that bottom part should now essentially go and land, and they can reuse that. And so he did it. And it's worked several, several times, and you can reuse them up to 100 times before they have to uh, do work on them or just throw them away. But that's a lot of saved money. Um, and so he achieved that, and he made it work. He's saving all that money. Um, and the next thing is safety, because he wants to bring people to Mars, which means that's a lot of people, that's a lot of lives. So he wanted to um, create something that's safer than any other rocket. And so he did. He achieved that. He achieved 
um, some crazy technology. I mean, of course, we're going to see this today, see if this rocket launch actually works and these men are safe. But he's, he's designed some uh, safety features like an airbag in a car or uh, sensors or whatever in a car. He's designed it into a rocket. And so um, on this rocket, the top module, which is the Crew Dragon uh, capsule, will essentially be attached just like a normal one. But when it starts going up and there's an issue or the bottom half starts exploding or whatever, the top Crew Dragon module will actually shoot off. It use it will use its rockets and it'll shoot off and save the men in the capsule and the bottom will explode or whatever crash and then it will parachute down hopefully in an ocean. So that's one big feature about the rocket that will hopefully be safer um, and then a lot of other big safety features gone into that but I'm not going to go into that right now. So that's a main part about it is safety, m saving money, and just building something that is... Uh, 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 smarter than these old rockets that NASA has or all these other countries have. So, um, so SpaceX had a lot of issues. They had a ton of rockets that completely exploded. I mean, you can see these pictures. There's just, there's, I mean, just so many issues they had to go through. Um, this was actually the Falcon 9, I believe it was the Crew Dragon, one of their testing that uh, exploded. Um, they didn't cause it. It was it was a complete accident. Um, and here's the rocket. This is, I believe, this was taken just a couple days ago. Um, so yeah, so that's the rocket, the very tip there, and then right about where that big black section is. That's where it would split off, and that bottom section that says SpaceX on it. That's what's gonna land the Falcon 9 area. That's what's gonna land, and they'll save all that money. Um, so here's the actual capsule with the rockets on the side. That's what they can essentially fly around with. That's what will shoot off the top of the rocket if there's an accident um, and just stuff like that. And here's back to the crew. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, <clears throat> that's kind of their main goal is to send these men to the International Space Station. They're going to stay there, I believe, for 90 days. Um, and then they will be taken back to Earth. Um, and so they're hoping this goes well. If it does, that's a huge achievement for SpaceX. And that's just something, a hurdle that they they want to accomplish because once they accomplish that, then they can start moving into, you know, we have a rocket that's safe enough for humans. Now can we make another rocket or use the same rocket to move to Mars? So they're they're planning on doing a separate rocket completely different mark rocket for Mars. Um, and he's planning to make a first mission to Mars in 2002. So that's only two years from now. I have no clue if that's going to happen. But yeah, two years from now, he's hoping to do that. Um, and, and I don't know because, you know, two years from now, they haven't even sent a man into space. That's kind of tight, it seems like, but maybe not. Um, and so, yeah, so NASA is working with SpaceX um, SpaceX has sent 32 successful launches so far, so that's pretty good. Um, and they've they've made it pretty far. I mean, in 18 years, that's a long ways to to go from nothing, a private company, into launching men into space. That's a big deal. I mean, NASA really slowed down, and then SpaceX is picking up a private company that you've never seen before them take these hurdles, take these achievements, and make them actually something that happens. And Elon Musk is a crazy guy. I mean, he's insane. And that's what makes greatness, I think. Because, I mean, you have Einstein, you have all these crazy people that invented things. Elon Musk did the Tesla. You know, he made Tesla. He made all these, you know, Model 3, which is one of the top-selling SUVs right now in the U.S., um, crazy crazy vehicles not too expensive but they 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 have incredible range and then achieving SpaceX and achieving something that's never been done so I can't wait for this launch um, to happen today it's gonna like I said at 433 which is just five hours away um, I can't wait for that because I for me I'm 18 I never saw you know rockets I never was really into space and all that you know, stuff that doesn't really make sense. Not make sense, but like, why are we still doing it? Why are we spending all this money just to get to space? But you see SpaceX, and you see that 
they're trying to make it more than just living in space, doing experiments. They're trying to expand the boundaries and move to something that hasn't been done before. Go to another planet, explore that planet and beyond, instead of just staying around, spending that money for nothing, essentially nothing. Um, but I think it's going to be a crazy launch. I can't wait to watch it today. Um, there's several places you can watch it on YouTube. There's going to be several different live streams there. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and make sure you guys consider subscribing and giving this video a like. Like I said, this is my first live stream ever, so I'm sure I messed up quite a bit. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and you learned something about SpaceX. So, yeah, and uh, make sure you guys check out the flight today, and I'll see you guys back in another video. Let me see if I can figure out how to stop this here. <laughs> there we go. I'll see you guys.